Oh wait, who's it? Oh, Zui. Okay, right okay. okay. All okay. right, cast your votes. Interesting mm-hmm. team setup. That PTS Gara, he's not playing about. <laughs> All right, yeah. PTS Gara, juicy tracking is something else. You're gonna have to switch out to be safe from that. One hundred percent. Throws a Kunai to cancel out the chakra dash. Goes for the air dash. Tries to bait out the counter, but gets hit on switch in by the Gara mash. Nice extension, jump, chakra dash to make sure he's conserving chakra. Can he juggle here optimally? Pain yep. is one of the best jugglers in the game. Beautiful counter. Zui should have waited there for the Jutsu to hit to make sure that his mash would be safe. I agree. Wake up pressure opportunity off the counter is going to go for the zoning strategy. Yeah, it goes for the Jutsu buffer, but doesn't really follow up after it. Unlucky. Dash class okay, situation. Gets air. Ooh! Air IC1 into yeah, Jutsu. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say the same thing. I like that. Oh, it tried to get the LZ off. He switched work. out of the counter too early there, otherwise he would have countered that pain tilt. Gets the strike back conversion really afterwards. Switch the summon the bomb. Another strike back into conversion with the up item. Oh, unlucky. Guard manipulation. No strike back here. Tried to apply wake up pressure with the ultimate jutsu. Unoptimal. Yeah. If you delay your uh, wake up there, you're never going to get hit by that ult. It's not really optimal to do. I agree. Okay, nice spark dash. No uh, punish by Wolke there on the jump Max block. damage opportunity. Jump cancel to bait the uh, sub. That was a beautiful parry. He parried ninja move there. Unlucky. Oh, didn't believe. Didn't get the convert. Nice counter parry. Max damage yeah, opportunity here. Counter. Oh, max damage. Looks for the grab buffer on the IC2. Lovely IC2 stuff. To attack up for the ult. That's going to do a good amount of damage. Beautiful by Zui there, actually. Sad and immediately fail. afterwards, Wolke has one sub. If he gets the sub burn, he's just dead for the round. He needs to keep it. We'll go for the team awakening. He's to get going the in. Here. He's actually... He's he dead. went in. No okay, fear. That was, that was actually... A, I, I actually respect it because going in there allows him to get like a, a combo opportunity, which means that during the combo he's going to have his subs regening at the same time. So it's, it's respectable. 100% okay. agree. Zui didn't expect it as well, so it paid off him. An instant guard exactly. break Nice. Spark, spark dash into combo. Oh, Wolke does not react to the grab so there. Smart. Yeah, he was yeah, he, in broken guard he was, state. Exactly, yeah. he was in the guard state. So he couldn't sub, direct him sub into grab to confirm that kill. Yep. First round goes to Zui. German players are too good. Wow, that was a beautiful, uh, he basically opened that round nearly perfectly. Wolke had to do a Jutsu switch in the opener to prevent Gara from hitting his guard there. Okay, sub into mash. Just some standard neutral stuff here. Tries to go for a punish on the X-Dash, but he's a bit minus there. So one thing about uh, <clears throat> when you X-Dash into someone's guard in this game, the taller characters actually have uh, advantage because uh, you take longer to land against a taller character when you X-Dash their guard. Uh, that makes sense because there's more height on their character. Exactly. Yeah, hey, but Zui catches him out here oh, with some bumper up. Yeah, He's nice unlock. Oh, yeah! Yeah! immediately afterwards, too. Oh, my Wolke life, Zui, you know. Yeah. Wolke, Wolke tries to go for a punish there with the air dash, but Zui does the double dash afterwards to keep himself safe, and then he's just able to block the second dash He's and go for a punish. Silent. Another stun lock, and he's going for an old conversion. Forces the sub trap with the Jutsu there. Oh, no. He got that top player status yesterday, and he was like, you know what, Zui, Ian, Zui is style. going in right now. He's, he's just applying a lot of pressure with these Jutsu buffer and dashes, and that's a two-stock. Oh, no. It's not looking good for Wolke. That's a two-stock yeah. and mental damage as well on the world stage. It's not looking good. That was a beautiful play. So do you think Zui's got this, or do you think Wolke has the potential to come back? I, Based on the current match day, I feel like Zui just has... A significant amount of more pressure on him. Um, the Jutsu yeah. buffers into the dashes is something that Wolke is going to have to watch out for. Wolke has to do a better job of keeping... Either he has to play better defense using his Jutsus of his own, or he's going to have to try to clash these dashes in order to keep himself safe against the Jutsus. Facts, facts, facts. You're spitting. Oh, someone asked, why am I using my old profile pick? You're right, I need to send Goku an updated one. I forgot. My bad. <laughs> yeah, Zui played really well there. It was extremely power, like extremely well played. I think, um, yeah, like I said, Wolke is going to have to up his defense game because the pressure by Zui <clears throat> was almost all guaranteed. Like, of course, there was gaps. Like, one, at one point, Wolke counters his uh, first hit when uh, Zui went for the Jutsu buffer into first hit with the jump block punish. Um, and Wolke was able to counter that. So he's just going to have to use these counters more effectively and try to dash these cla or, uh, clash his dashes in order to make sure that he's not getting punished by the Jutsus. Yeah, no, 100%. But I feel like I'm not sure if... Um, Wolke has the experience to actually adapt to Zui's aggression because even if he answers back, Zui's going to adapt. Whether it's exactly, be... and then at that point, it's just a better whoever has better execution is going to win out. Exactly. Wolke going for the Rasa. Okay, so in my opinion, mm. Rasa is actually the best character in the game. It's a hot take. What? Sorry? When you got it, six plus it, it, in the game? You, you want me to explain why? Go. 
Uh, well, I don't, I don't want to take up too much time, but basically, his jutsu, <laughs> chakra kunai, and his mash are just ridiculous. Uh, I'll explain later, but for now, let's commentate the match. You are right, so, but I feel like you're only, you're only really going to get a lot of mileage out of it if, if you're a close range fighter. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, he's, mm. he's, a, he's like a mid range to close range character for sure. Mm. But I feel um, like Wookie picked the right choice because he needs an answer to Zui's aggression, and if exactly. he's not gonna adapt, yeah, he's doing a good job right now. He has Zui at zero subs. If Wookie catches him out here, it's gonna be a great punish opportunity. Come on, unlucky gets Zui gets the, the ball If he sub mash there, he would have been able to punish Zui there. But Zui is just keep keeping the offense on him despite being at the sub disadvantage. Fact, oh, he gets the double dash though. Going. Okay, he can try to force a sub here with the strike back conversion. Miss okay, the up Ooh, counter. the patience. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. He, del he delayed his mash, which allowed him to, ma to mash oh, the counter switch. Oh no, that's a new dash. Okay. Not looking good. Shaka Dash cancel. Oh, nice. Did it that behind. was a beautiful cancel by Zui. Wolke had to counter there. He's just he, the thing about Zui is he's applying so much pressure that Wolke doesn't know whether or not to counter because at one point Zui's just gonna end up baiting the counter. Fuck. Okay, he, dynamic aggression. Yeah, and then he, I, I figured he was gonna try to double dash the the, uh, the ninja move there because one thing in this game is that if someone double dashes near you, you have a guaranteed double dash opportunity if you do it right. Otherwise, Zui catches him out here though, but he's trying to run away. This is an issue that Wolke's been having. He's trying to run away, but Zui's just applying these jutsus properly to keep the pressure on him. Yeah, he just knows how to catch him and knows how to apply the pressure on wake up exactly. as well. Exactly, and then so there it is again. He can no. just catch him again into the old. Oh he's my god. He's, he's styling! He's styling! Oh no. Stop it. Jeez Louise. Absolute domination. He dropped the media on his head as well. It's not good. He said too big for rain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, see the opener. He no. goes for a double dash, so he gets caught up by it. Doesn't react to the dashes, but he gets the Wolke gets the counter off there. But like like I said, Zui's just gonna be able to react to these counters now with a double counter of his own. And oh, that's just Mr. Guard manipulation. Oh, okay, that was good by Wolke by guard banking there. To keep yes, himself sir. safe against the double air dash, that's but he doesn't punish pressure. off the ground block. Okay, here here comes Zui's aggression. Jutsu buffer into charge dash into spark. The safe aggression is just keeping himself in a state where he can just keep applying pressure. But Wolke is at a sub advantage here. See if he's able to do anything with it. Let's see tries to bait the counter there. Chopper. I respect it. He walked there to try to bait his counter, but Zui doesn't fall for it. Okay, a bit of a neutral reset here. Both players trying to get Chakra, but Zui's getting his subs back, so Wolke's at a bit of a sub disadvantage. But he's able to catch him out there on the dash. Oh, oh nice Jutsu. Wolke doesn't react to the Jutsu, Jutsu there. And oh, then he mashes Jutsu. the Rasa Jutsu there. That's that last Sasuke advantage. And nice counter nice by uh, Zui there. That was actually guaranteed. Wolke had to do a charge dash there. Yeah, for real. Oh, nice. Oh, oh he got, gets but, cut. But, this is what I mean about the character. Did you see that? Yep. He hit his landing frame and then got away, and he still button locked him. This is what I mean about this character. I think if he continued ninja moving or switched, I think he would have cancelled the button lock. But yeah, that was just unfortunate. No, he was but he was he was literally button locked for that entire like. I think maybe he could have countered the spark dash that happened immediately afterwards, but I honestly don't even think he expected it to occur. But he gets an exactly. up item into ult here or up combo into ult conversion. Was... Let's go, Sand Tri Beam. He's gonna lock and load it. A good catch by him there. Bye bye. Okay, he's got his first round. Nice one. Yeah, can he continue the first round of the, of the set? Literally. Can he continue his adaptation? Or is this going to okay, be nice air dash? But he gets punished by the, the fireball there. He needs to be able to sub mash that. But the thing about this game is that if you're an armor breaks that you can't sub. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice I grab. Awesome, you too. Yeah. Wake up, brush He had to directional here. sub it. Otherwise, he was going to get sub trapped. Love okay, stuff. guaranteed mash on the wake up there. He, so he had to counter against the Jutsu buffer. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Nice. okay. Okay, he's turning up. He said, don't cut me out yet, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. still here. Still here. Okay, but so he's starting up, starting up the Jutsu pressure again with the Spark Dashes. He shouldn't okay. have respected Rasa's nope. match there. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Exactly. If Rasa beats out the Madara IC2. Let's go. Okay, that was a good Jutsu buff by him cancel. there with the follow-up as well. Come on, tries man like Wolke. Tries, tries to counter the dash there, but doesn't get it off. But the Air Jutsu catches him out. Oh, tries okay. to punish Spark him. Dash, the Pain Mash going crazy. Yeah, Follow both players. Opportunity. Okay, okay beautiful Jutsu buffer by him there on the punish of the jump block. Ooh, oh, okay, gets the guard break conversion. Ooh, oh, 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 damage opportunity. opportunity. Attack kill him. That's it. And that's, that's it. Bye-bye. That's it. Yeah, I actually oh. caught him there. So the thing is, Wolke, what I was saying, it's like I said before, if he gets the, these counter opportunities and he jump blocks the dashes, then he's going to be able to punish Zui's aggression. And that's Facts. what he needed to do. And you know what helped him close the gap? Wake up pressure. Zui wasn't really doing that much of it, but then when Wolke won his growth range interactions, he was focusing on getting the strike back conversions and making yes, sure exactly. he was he's, he's, try, he's pressure. trying to optimize all of these situations as much as possible, which is helping him get these little edges on uh, Zui. Exactly. Geza, take notes, man. <laughs> so yeah, uh, like I said, basically, the meta of Storm 4, um, I think, is inherently aggressive. So mm -hmm. it just comes down to, okay, let's say we both Jutsu, Jutsu switch in the opener. 
and then we followed up with a charge dash, right? At that point, it comes down to who has the better jutsu firstly, so what characters you're playing, mm. and the jutsu priority uh, order of those characters. And then at that point, it comes down to, okay, I have these jutsus out, meaning I can safely spark dash into your guard, because if you try to mash me off the jump block, you're going to get hit by the jutsu, which means I have the sub advantage. So eventually, it just comes down to whether or not uh, you have a better jutsu and whether or not you're making those reads on the counters. So when you jump block a, a dash, you have frame advantage, obviously, so you can mash. But the thing is, obviously, they can read that counter, and then the other player that's mashing can read that and bait the counter. So it just becomes a mind game there uh, when you don't have these jutsus out. But when you have these jutsus out, the game just becomes more of a uh, execution execution thing. And at that point, it really just comes down to who's doing these plays better and who's making better reads uh, when there's no switches on the play. Yeah, 100%. That's why in a lot of situations when both players are on resources, it's going to come down to experience and adaptation and fundamentals. Who can abuse those qualities the best to win the set? Exactly. But in terms of that jump guarding situation, you know when someone dashes you and you mm -hmm. jump guard and you can mm -hmm. mash, if you use movement mm -hmm. cancelling, Poison Okami has a tutorial on it, you can just cancel that and make it a 50-50 essentially. So the thing about it is uh, if the person that's jump blocking mashes, mm. I actually tested this in debug, if the person jump blocking mashes frame perfectly, mm. then the person that uh, the person that dashed them has no choice but to counter. Yeah, there is no yeah. other option in the game. Yep. Um, you, but then one thing about that is there's switch mix-ups as well. You can mix up your switch timing and their switch timing and it just becomes kind of a whole timing festival where it's just where it's, <laughs> oh, nice still switch counter there. I like uh, how you put that timing festival. I like it, that. It literally just becomes a timing festival. Who, who has the better reads on the, the rhythm there? This game like, is very rhythm based. So. 100% agree. But that's why two stops are so important. Apply that yeah. mental damage. Apply that, you know. The psychological like, warfare. Exactly. That oh, you see what I mean about this Rasa? That uh, close range jutsu, it just forces the sub into guard. And then after that, what? What is he going to do? Honestly, he's going to be in guard state. There's some situations where spares is just firm it, I'm not going to lie. And keep yeah. your resources. Yes. Yeah, it is. Infinite? Okay. Let's go. Yeah, he's going to the infinite. Hits out the pain. No this way. is what I mean. This is what I mean. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Oh, you see what I mean? That, that air dash into guard situation. Both players have no switches, so it just comes down to who has a be better mind game there. Facts. And in that situation, Zui just read him. Wolke didn't go for the counter. Maybe he didn't react in time to the air dash counter or air dash guard situation. But either way, he still catches Wolfe. him out. He's not. A, he's and not. Benjamin Kudai doesn't Unlucky. counter on the Digimon there, so he catches him out. Oh, Rev cancel. Nice old conversion by the Zui there with the attack up. Nice one. Wanted to confirm that damage. Didn't want to wait for his subs to potentially come back. Lovely stuff. Wake up pressure. Let's go. Okay, maintaining neutral. Gonna do a jutsu buffer. Nice switch sub. Dash. Again, that situation. This is, this is one of the most important interactions in the game. That air dash jump block situation. Okay, nice jutsu switch there by uh, Wolke though to keep himself safe. Yes, air dash guard situation again, Unlucky. but he gets countered on reaction. The air dash. You shouldn't there. have done the air dash. You should have waited. Yeah, exactly. Just... Exactly. And Zui he gets no grabbed. Chakra. He didn't react. Oh, unlucky. And he had subs as well. Yeah, that he, was he, unlucky. Could have, he could have reacted there, but I, I don't know how good the connection is, so I, I won't say too much about that. <laughs> Give him some okay. leeway. You're right. Our spark conversion there doesn't sub the pain jutsu. Wolke keeps getting hit by these jutsus. One thing about this game, it's actually how Playco plays. Um, hmm. In neutral, you can just be mashing sub a lot of the times, because if you're doing a move that's going to lose to their move, you're going to want to sub anyway 99% nice. of the time in order to be in frame advantage. The Back. issue with it is if you're playing in like too bad of a connection, you might just end up subbing Kunai and stuff, and you don't want to yeah, do that. Yeah, that's true. But you need to make that sure at the same much. time you're doing directional subbing, otherwise exactly, people are going to exactly. set up. Exactly, otherwise you're going to get sub-trapped. Yeah, exactly. Zui so said you're going to burn these subs, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, he's, he's farming them. <laughs> farming these subs. Okay, Jutsu switch by Tobirama there. Doesn't really get any pressure out of it though. Goes for the Chakra Kunai to interrupt the dash. Calls out the pain to keep himself safe in the air. Nice one. Nice Jack switch by Wolke there, though, they keep himself reset. safe. Ooh, it doesn't hit the guard pressure. because of pain! Ooh. It dashes through the hit Minato him. wrestling on there. That Jutsu's not very good, so he gets the ult. Bye bye. Again! Wookie oh, coming back! Wookie actually kind of got really lucky there, because Zui tried to dash him when he was at a, a frame disadvantage, but uh, Wookie had his pain support, which got hit, and the pain support acted as a dash cut in the air to keep himself safe from the air dash. Pain uh, out here body blocking. This is why he's one of the best. Yep. Best defensive supports in the game. Okay, man. so that, right there, that situation right there, he sparked into his guard, but there was no punish from uh, from Wolke there. So he, he just, like I said, he has to punish these situations and try to make something out of it. Otherwise, he's just going to lose out, especially when he has the su or, uh, health disadvantage. 100%, but I think because he has the health disadvantage, he was scared. He, he, yeah, he's scared, exactly. That And that's the issue in, in this game. Sometimes you just have to take these risks. Honestly. He goes, for these, goes for the tilt on uh, sub, but he gets countered. Switches out of it, Wolke. though. And that's, he had this... He had this this, this switching this, thing is super important in this game. He had the switch advantage, so he was able to win that interaction just because he had a switch. 
Facts. He kind of missed the opportunity to kill off Zuida. He needed the guard manipulation or instant yep. guard break. And now yeah, Zui got it and he's making him pay. Yeah, but I mean, then he's going to try to go for gold here probably. Oh, he that's a rev cancel. He could have rev cancel. Yeah, yeah, he could have rev cancel and took the round, but maybe yeah. he didn't want to risk it. I guess so, fair enough. But this is his oh, game. Oh, no, Wolk came back too slow there. Combo. And then he switched into air combo to end the round. So one thing uh, that happened there was um, Wolk got air dashed by uh, Zui. On uh, while he was ground blocking, which would have allowed him to do a ground combo, but I think he actually mashed too slow. And Payne's first hit is five frames, whereas Minato's is four. So if you mash one frame too late, you're gonna get outmashed, even though you have frame advantage.